<laughs> Those are the jokes they're not allowing me to do. What other uh, Supreme Court decisions do you, agree, do you disagree with besides Roe v. Wade? Well, there's, of course, uh, in the great history of America, there have been rulings that uh, there's never going to be absolute consensus by every American, and there are those issues, again, like Roe v. Wade, where I believe are best held on a state level and addressed there. So, you know, going through the history of America, there, there, would, there would be others, but... Um, That's where that answer ends. <laughs> Can you think of any? <laughs> I would think of uh, any, again, that could best be dealt with on a more local level. Maybe I would take issue with, but, uh, you know, as, as mayor and as a governor and even as vice president, if I'm so privileged to serve, wouldn't be in a position of changing those things, but in supporting the law of the land as it reads today. Can you think of any examples besides Roe v. Wade? Uh, Tyson versus Spinks? <laughs> That, if you didn't say that. that that's me embellishing. This, this could be our, our vice president and possibly our president, and she answers questions like Chevy Chase. <laughs> oh, Katie, besides uh, the Supreme Court uh, uh, Roby, it is uh, port, uh, pl because of the uh, port, uh, term limit, and I, I think for some amount of time. <laughs> Sarah Palin is also very pro-life, of course, unless the life is that of an Iraqi civilian or a wolf running frantically from a roaring helicopter while being strafed with ribbons of automatic weapons fire. Machine gunning animals from the sky as a political policy in Alaska. Isn't that cartoonishly evil? Isn't that something Jafar would do? Do we want to elect Shredder? Our Awesome. The fact <laughs> that's the idea. Man. The fact is, your generation is going to be left with some very serious problems, and most of them were created by the very people who want you to keep them in power in November. And I'm here today to ask you to tell them no. Show them you are young and smart by exercising a civil right that has not yet been taken away from you, your right to vote. Help us all by electing the man who will steer America into the future.